Hey Fritz. Hey Dad. You ready to play some X-Plane? Yep. Hey, right, what are we working on today? Autopilot landings. Autopilot landings. So we discovered this is a really, really easy way to land, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I know it's daunting to use the flight computer, right Fritz? Mm -hmm. But it's actually not very hard. And of course, we don't know a whole lot of the stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're learning how to do this. But we found that using the autopilot to land is a really easy way to land, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can work yourself up from, from there to turning some things off of the autopilot, mm -hmm. right? We're gonna turn some things off. But right now the autopilot, you set it to the navigation you want for your landing mm -hmm. site. And we'll set up the X-Plane Simulator to put you 10 nautical miles away. Mm -hmm. The autopilot will put you on the course, which is, I find, the hardest thing, right? Mm -hmm. Getting you straight on that course. And then it'll auto-do your speed. Well, if you, you, your if throttle you, if you it, click it right mm -hmm. and it'll do the pitch to get you in that perfect thing and then it turns you off right at the edge and and you take it from there right mm -hmm. so ready to set that up and then Fritz is going to be the one showing yeah. it well I'm gonna set you up with the uh, locator and all that because I gotta show him how to do that well I, I, I've seen you do it like a million times you've seen me do it a million times yeah I, I know how you do you know it. how to do it he knows how to do it now okay Fritz is gonna do the lesson ready here we go Houston. All right, we're back, and Fritz is in command of our Eclipse 500 plane, right? Mm -hmm. So at this point, you should be able to know how to select the plane, right, Fritz? Well, you know I, how to do that. I, um, but people are now getting in the People plane. are getting off, yeah. So Fritz, is, Fritz has already landed it. So what we're going to do is we're, we are at the Houston um, International, right? Mm -hmm. Let's zoom into this. I mean, and then I'm way in, I'm in the, um... Yeah, you're, you're parked there, and the, uh, the runway we've picked here, and you pick, you've got to pick the front part of the, the glide scope, that's this right here, this is mm -hmm. the glide scope mm -hmm. that we need to pick, and this says, what is the frequency we need? One, one eleven fifteen. One eleven fifteen. okay. No, I have that set up in the plane. And the runway is actually... 15 right right mm -hmm. there and we're gonna set us up at 10 nautical miles right mm -hmm. so if we click that now I, I don't know if it's gonna reset the plane you think it's gonna reset the plane probably okay well we're, we test it. I don't have no idea so we click that and it's gonna put us uh, 10 nautical miles away uh, ready to go for our landing okay ready to pause mm -hmm. I'm gonna click this so you're gonna have to pause it right okay and Looks I, like it turned on the plane. Did it turn on? Unpause it and see if it turns on the plane. Did it turn it on? I think so. Make sure the door's open. Yeah, okay. So, okay. So, unpause yourself and let the uh, instruments figure itself out. Okay. They'll turn on in a second. All right, I guess pause yourself again. Can you go up? Yeah. So, what you've got to do, even though we started ourselves at, at 10 nautical miles, you got to kind of set your speed up a little bit. And he's at about 190, and he's uh, raising to about 2,000 feet. All right, is that good? Mm -hmm. Okay, pause yourself. And one thing here, you notice that we have we can't see anything out, right, mm -hmm. outside. So what we've done is we went to weather, mm -hmm. and we're during the daytime, but we set the visibility all the way down to 0.6 nautical miles. Uh, so you have to use a, a Category 1 IFR. A little bit of precipitation and the turbulence is up a little bit right mm -hmm. so it's a little bumpy ride so you have to fly with the autopilot for this right Fritz mm -hmm. and okay now zoom down here because we got to make sure that our zoom us down so we plug into here the frequency and you've got to click uh, this button to go to the bottom and then you use this guy to pick the one one eleven fifteen, which is right there, right? Mm -hmm. But when you select this, it puts it to the top. Okay, now go up, and we want to make sure that nav one is that, right? Mm -hmm. That's one fifteen, one eleven fifteen. Mm -hmm. That's our runway. Okay, now Fritz, do you remember how to set the autopilot? Yep, okay. I think I messed with the autopilot speed a little bit. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to turn. Whoops on the autopilot that's this guy right here mm -hmm. right we have to turn on the nav following mm -hmm. and we turn on the approach following 
And if we want it to also do our speed, we click that. We click the autopilot for the thrust, right? But I think I kind of messed with it. No, it's good. No, it's, it's good. And there, there's a lot more to do with the autopilot. It can, you know, automatically go to headings and do different things. But this is all you need right now to allow you to land, right, Fritz? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you take yourself off a of pause. And I'm not touching I, anything. Yeah, so yeah, we've got this thing on. So he's not touching it. The plane is following. This is the green nav right here. So I guess mm -hmm. zoom into this. Right. Zoom into that screen. And you notice it's, it's automatically doing the thrust and everything over here. I'm probably gonna move the flaps a little bit. So can... Well, the flaps are up all the way, but we're gonna want to put the flaps down, right? Mm -hmm. So go ahead and turn the flaps. Okay, so flaps are coming down, and then the plane is is having to the autopilot's having to add some more thrust. You see how it added thrust mm -hmm. to try to keep our speed a little bit the same. Mm -hmm. And this is the box where we need to keep the speed. That's our altitude, which is keeping, and that's the position. And that's it. So you're pretty much done. Well, and you've already got the gear down. Did you already put the gear down? Yeah. Okay. And we can't see anything out there, right? Mm -hmm. I can't see anything. Can you see anything? No. I, no. It's just clear white. It's clear white. So are we following the right way? Do you know? Look down. Yep. Okay. So basically the plane is now flying itself to the runway. And, and, and then it'll cut you off once you get really close to the runway. And then you're going to have to do your own brakes, right? Mm -hmm. And you'll have to kind of guide it in to the very last, like, right above it. But it's mm -hmm. it, it's holding our speed for us. It's, um, we're dropping altitude, down. right? Have you seen anything yet? Not, not yet? I just do a little bit. It's a little scary, isn't it? Is it a little scary? Yeah. It's kind of... Look kinda, at that. I see some trees. I see some trees. I see some trees down there. So, we found this to be the easiest way to land the, the buttons. We're, we're all about buttonies, right? And We, we uh, should have put this video on first, except we didn't know <laughs> autopilot so, before we did it. Yeah, and I've looked at a lot of videos how to do autopilot. And they all say, you know, you've got to do a flight plan and this. This, we don't have to do anything in. All you do is just uh, set the navigation um, frequency for the mm -hmm. runway, set you up, and then you can practice this. And after this, since now Fritz has mastered this, mm -hmm. is we can leave the nav part on, mm -hmm. but turn off the autopilots. Um, and you can do them one at a time. First try it without any thrust so that you have to do your own thrust and then do it without the autopilot, and then you follow this green uh, guy that tells you where to go, I right? I see the lights, I see the lights. You see, see the lights? And it's gonna cut me off in a, in a few seconds. Yeah, it's gonna cut you off? Yes, yeah, it's gonna cut me off in a minute. Are you gonna be able to handle this? Mm-hmm. Uh, you need to do your own thrust, though, six, when you get six, to the... Six, four, six, 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 six. Whoa, that was a little bit... Ten. I think you, I think you hit a little too hard on that one. You've done better. But there you go. But I guess not bad, right, Fritz? Mm -hmm. You could have done a little bit less of a plow into the runway, I'm sure. But, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think the plane would have survived, albeit not probably so happy. What do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Good job? And we're all done. That's how to land with an autopilot in X.10, right? You gotta get off the runway though. Pretty sure that would help, right? Now, do you think you can try it without the thrust autopilot? Ready to reset? I really, I really do the, the without the autopilot one before I do the thrust one because the okay. thrust one's a little bit too hard. Well, why don't we try... Okay, let's, let's set, reset back, right? Mm -hmm. And... All right, now you're, you're on your own, so you've got mm -hmm. to do your own... Get yourself level and add some thrust. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to click... You want the nav on? Yeah, I want the nav. And approach? Yeah. Okay. 
Now there's no autopilot and there's no thrust. So you've got to do your own thrust, your own flaps, um, your own gear. I turn the flaps on. You're going a little fast for me. And you're turning, look, you're turning way too much. You gotta turn into there. There you go, follow the green guy. You're doing good now, I think you're doing really good. Because that's right about the speed you want anyway. And you're following this green marker. Yeah. I think it's because of the two blades. It doesn't want. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want the speed to go up too much. Yeah, you're doing a good job so far. You just gotta follow that green. Um, that green navigation marker, right? Mm. And it's not as easy as it looks, right? Yeah. Up a little bit. Here we go. I remember seeing my dad do it. It looked kind of easy, but it's not really. It's not, it's not easy as it looks. Not as easy as it looks. Mhm. Mm I guess this is if the autopilot is off. But we we've even got a little bit of turbulence on, right? Mhm. Mm you see how everything kind of jumbles a little bit? Oh, that was a marker. I heard the one of mm -hmm. the outer markers go off, right? That mm -hmm. you're getting closer to the runway. You gotta go. You gotta go down a little bit. There you go. Just very One slow second. movement. Look, and he's using both hands, right? You're using both hands to try to get in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Turn to the right. Turn to the right. You gotta level yourself off a little bit. You're almost there. Sink right. Sink right. Sink right. Getting close. Level out. Level out. Sink right, sink right, sink right. Okay, now you can kind of use the real horizon a little bit. Turn to the right. Okay, let me help you a little bit. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think you were doing a better job than me. Sink right, sink right, sink right. Okay. We're so slowly. Five hundred. Well, I've been practicing right. the okay. autopilot on the right. Oh, I see the runway. You oh. see it? I don't know. We're we're way to the right. I don't know. Hey, there's a plane right in front of us. That's not good. Hey, can you land it? Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up a little bit. Turn the... Turn, whoa! Ah, oh, you crashed it. That's okay. We practiced, right? Mm-hmm. All right. But you, at least you got it down to the runway. At least right? you got it down to the runway. Yeah, this is the whole point of practicing. So, we, you know, so this is what we've been doing this morning, right, Fritz? Mm -hmm. Is we've been practicing. That was the first time Fritz tried it without the autopilot. Um, and I did a little bit better than my dad. You did? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was doing smaller movements, and you're like... Nyeh. I did. I You were doing a little bit better than me. So you, you got to... Um, all right, ready to try it again? Mm-hmm. You want to try it one more time? Yeah. Okay. All right, ready to go? And this is going to be all you this time. I'm not going to touch it at all. All right, so I'm going to turn on. I'm your co-pilot, so I'm going to turn this on for you, okay? You're going kind of fast, though. Auto the co-pilot says maybe you should turn the flaps on and then turn your speed up. There you go. Gear. And the gear. Oh, you're really missing it. There you go. Yeah. Oh, good job. Oil pass generator. Okay. That's not good. You think you can make it? Mm-hmm. Right. If I keep my speed a little bit. Huh? I think it's the turbulence. It doesn't want it. Yeah, it's a little turbulent. Oh. 
higher than our weather. Are Remember, there slow movements, there you go. You're doing a good job. Try to keep it even in there. Yeah, follow that green. Really follow that green box. I think your speed's just fine. You just got to follow that green box ever so slightly with your hand. Like just little, 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 little bits of movement. There you go. Down. I can't use my first time. Okay. Little movements. You hit, a, you hit an outer marker. Little movements. A uh, little bit. There you go. That's it. And then we hold it. We're just holding it stable. Trying to hold it stable. It, 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 it is pushing us. See how we're moving all around? I guess this would be a lot easier without any turbulence, but... The last time you did it without the turbulence, no weather. Yeah. That's partly because we're getting pushed around. It probably would be a lot easier without it. You got it? I'm just being co-pilot. We're going to pass 500 feet pretty soon. close I can tell because that texture we might be able to see the runway really soon there I see the lights I think we're gonna get it okay gears are down flaps are up let's turn your speed oh don't get all freaky at the end okay we kind of help you a little bit okay okay we're gonna go up 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 no, 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 not too much up. Here we go. I think you're good. Woo, you're bouncing. <laughs> good job, Fritz. It's a nice, turbulent, can't see anything day, right? Mm -hmm. Using that. Uh, so, what's the easier thing to do? The autopilot or just using it as a guide? Autopilot. Yeah. All right, so that's it for this video, right, Fritz? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna keep practicing our landings, and the more you can turn off, um, then the harder it gets, right, Fritz? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll see y'all later. Actually, you wanna, you wanna try it with no weather this time? No. Nah. When, we, when we sign off? All right, well, we're gonna sign off. We're gonna keep practicing. Fritz is gonna keep practicing, right, Fritz? Yeah. All right, we'll if, see y'all later. If we can do it with water on, weather on, then it'll be a lot easier with the, without. than we can do without. We can All do right. without. All right, say bye. Bye.